Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Tiny Archer's Overview. I'm trying to think which specific mechanic is overpopulated on the quest platform. I think Archer is definitely up there in a variety of situations, if it's with story games, adventures, simulators, tower defenses, you name it, it probably exists. And this game is as well putting itself in just a big pile already. So Tiny Archers is a tower defense archery simulator game where you need to defend the Northern Kingdom from a relentless goblin slash orcs coalition raid and prove yourself as a realm's finest archer. Simple as that and the game pretty much proves that instantly you're inside it. We have pretty standard stuff going on like archery mechanics that are up to certain people's taste. I don't know if mine necessarily. Simplistic art style with fairy tale-ish ambience going on. The monsters have the hitboxes, physics and different behavioral patterns which is pretty interesting and kinda new in comparison to other archer games. You are still set in place in a tower, mind you, and just spinning around, deflecting incoming attacks, so it's test true to the genre. It's also worth noting, it's a first game of that kind to support external accessory, which is some kind of an Artemis bow suitable for specifically this game, I don't know if the others as well. No product placement happening though, cause it's pretty expensive, although I wish I would try this out. But on the other hand, I feel like because the game was sort of designed around it, the mechanics and offsets feel a bit off and they can't be changed. And looking on that particular bow, the controller is placed up higher a bit from the line of shooting. I don't particularly know how this external situation works, however, I feel like that might be the main reason of certain confusions I've had. Other than that, the game is rather polished, of course a bit simplistic, especially for the price point it's asking. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but it's also not that eventful, so you won't necessarily discover a lot of features that you feel like you've paid for. I mean, up to people's standards regardless, and this game is just okay in my eyes. Let's go shoot some goblins. Is that a kingdom? Oh, a captain. You lazy ass, come down, help me. Well, spirits work as well. <laughs> Okay, firstly, the art style. I mean, for nowadays standards, this is very basic. The water is like simulating some movement, but the overall textures. Something that I would find on Quest 1 already. And 360, not eventful. But in Archer games, it's all about the mechanics. I have the arrow guidance, so this should be like a piece of cake, unless it's for the tutorial. What the? Since when goblins talk? Oh wow, the gore. Ah. Cause normally in tower defenses, 
you have certain limit and then if they cross you lose HP or whatever. But like physically going to you. Get off me mate! I mean, it is very cartoony graphical overhaul, so like there's gonna be some basic stuff going on, but it is polished. Like I don't see resolution flickers and stuff like that, so at least there's that. Lost memories. Hundreds oh, like a map. And a PJ. Okay, basic stuff available on launch. That doesn't happen for often now. <laughs> ah, okay, so we have different difficulties, but like the help is definitely reduced. I mean, I'm an archer by nature, so that should be for me. This is selecting the days, but what's this for then? Side quests. Jesus. It's loud here. <laughs> Body mover. Well, that's just different methods of locomotion. Okay, can we get to Danity Greedy? <laughs> I thought I would be like in the field or whatever.
Okay, what about the shop? We have different balls. We need stars that are gathered through levels, I assuming. They all have like statistics with weight, so... That's kind of different, as well as the capacity of different arrow sets. Okay, but I want to <laughs> get into the actual game. So we pretty much choose the difficulty and then let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> damn it! I mean, it's easier if they will like climb up, but I guess I'll lose a star doing so. There's also a damage or a score. I'm not sure. That's a condition to lose? I mean, okay, I thought I have some health points. I have a weird feeling that the actual bow accuracy It's a tad different in comparison to other games. Like it is a bit too high. <laughs> Family friendly. And we can't necessarily modify it. Like, it doesn't seem comfortable as of yet. <laughs> so they come from multiple directions. Right now there's like this forest and a bridge. Headshots can't different as the body ones. <laughs> they got them fish. I don't know, it is definitely a different aiming system. It's interesting, they have like different animations depending when they get hit. The question now, however, is which system is the correct one? I mean, it's up to the preference. Also, I feel like two to the side. There's not that much going on, really.
Maybe it has something to do with the external bow, you know, the advertised Artemis that kind of skewed the accuracy. Let me play more. You definitely have to lean a bit to the... Right? To make an accurate shot, but it goes in a straight line anyways. So maybe it's just my perception? I don't know. Because when I really concentrate, it hits. Weird situation. Oh, he turned. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, there's behind me now. <laughs> they stole armor from the castle. I can definitely feel arrows going too much to the left. It also is due to my position, but that's just how I play. Some bonus. <laughs> I'd love to try this game out with the extension. What the? The fish just really distract me. The hell? I'm kind of like outside of the tower. 
I still didn't know I can move. Oh, come on. So we have 24 days. I think that's the overall number of stages. If we're counting different modes, which I shouldn't really. Yeah, because they're the same. It's decent size, but not really like impressive. I mean, for the price point, this is asking kind of a lot. In those four levels, there was not that much variety going on, even though it's just starting ones. The only real difference was different directions they keep coming and armor sets to get more hits. But other than that, it's rather uneventful, art style wise. It's not like overly impressive. You could pull this off on any system, really. On quest, it just looks basic ish. With the mechanics, I'm not really quite sure because if we are disregarding the aim guidance, cause we're not doing that. <laughs> the arrows, I feel like, go a bit too high and then too much to the left, which you can't modify it in terms of like the offsets and stuff. Probably because you have this Artemis Smart Ball, which... I mean, the game is not shipped with it. <laughs> it does feel correct when you play more, but it's definitely a different style in comparison to all the archery games we've seen. Then we have this smith, which crafts bows and arrows, depending what you like. Mini game. And that's it, for 20 bucks, it's a steep price to me. 